All right. Today is Monday, October 22nd, 2018 at 12.52 p.m. Let's take a look at some headlines. All right. Austin, Austin, Texas, order to boil water. Flood silt stalls treatment. The city of Austin's water utility told all residents early Monday to boil water before using until the city's water treatment system is stabilized. Austin Water's customers, which includes residents in Austin, Drewallingwood, and West Lake Hills, need to boil water before drinking it, cooking it with it, or using it for ice until further notice, city officials says. Uh, Travis County Water District 10 customers are also included in the city's boils notice, General Manager Carla Glass said. The boil notice comes after historic flooding in Central Texas last week, which caused water supply lakes to be filled with silt. The high levels of debris, silt, and mud in the water requires ex extended filtration to treat it, which takes longer, city officials said. Such conditions make it harder for the city's water plan to produce the volume of water needed to supply customers, officials said. To provide necessary water pressure for fire protection, plants must distribute water at treatment levels not typical of the utility's high standards for consumption. So far, the water has not tested positive for bacterial infiltration of the system, city officials said. Alright, so, water in Austin needs to be boiled. Also, there's going to be more rain coming to Texas from Hurricane Willa that is uh, about to go um, on land in Texas. So, there's going to be more rain coming to Texas. Alright. Next. Clemson University floor collapse injures 30 in South Carolina. At least 30 people were injured when a floor collapsed at a party at Clemson University, South Carolina. The Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity annual homecoming party was just getting started when the floor gave way. Police said some of the attendees broke bones as they fell from the common area in the basement off of the off-campus apartment complex. Emergency responders were at the scene in minutes and 23 people were taken to the hospital. The beat was about to drop and literally the whole floor collapsed. Student Lisa Stone told Greensville News, People are hurt. People are bleeding. I had blood on my sneakers. It was really bad. So, apparently they were all jumping at a party and dancing, and the floor collapsed. So sad to see. Alright, next. Headless Chicken Sea Monster filmed swimming off East Antarctica. A deep sea swimming sea cucumber has been filmed in the southeastern ocean of East Antarctica for the first time. Real name is Anipianestes eczema, commonly known as the headless chicken sea monster. The creature had previously only been filmed in the Gulf of Mexico. Data from the underwater cameras will be fed back to the Commission of the Conservation of Ant Antarctic Marine Living Resources, the internal body managing of the Southern Ocean. So it does kind of look like a headless chicken, like the, the head of a chicken just floating in the ocean. That's pretty interesting. Alright, next. Magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake strikes near Port Hardy, Canada. Several powerful earthquakes have been reported near Vancouver, Canada, including a magnitude 6.8 earthquake. The U.S. Geological Survey says several powerful quakes were reported Sunday evening. To the depth of the largest is about 6 miles or 10 kilometers, and it struck about 149 miles west of Tofino, Canada. Geophysicist Amy Vaughn says the three larger quakes range from a 6.5 to a 6.8 and there were possibly some smaller ones as well, as some aftershocks. Vaughn says the quake were highly off onshore and that as now no injuries were reported. The National Tsunami Warning Center tweeted that a tsunami is not expected. Those are some large earthquakes. A 6.6 .6 and a magnitude 6.8. That's pretty large. Alright guys, that's it for the headlines right now. Hit like and subscribe. See you next time, and God bless.